Erectile dysfunction, also known as male weakness, can be confusing for those affected, as there are many beliefs about it. Some are true and some are false. Mostly, it's said to be manageable but rarely talked about in terms of fixing it. In this video, I will discuss erectile dysfunction. To what extent is the use of Viagra useful in erectile dysfunction? its underlying causes and treatments. Low testosterone levels are often cited as a cause, leading to erectile dysfunction. However, it's surprising that some individuals with high testosterone levels still experience erectile dysfunction. On the other hand, there are also people who have low testosterone hormone, but they are not a victim of this male weakness. Testosterone plays a role in male weakness to a certain extent, but there are many other reasons and data available. One of the most important molecule involved in erectile dysfunction is nitric oxide. If the amount of nitric oxide is less, then less oxygen flows in your body. And because of less oxygen supply, your body will not able to perform normal functions. In fact, those people who are victim of sleep apnea, which is the disease of breathing while sleeping, 80% of them are also a victim of erectile dysfunction. Our body makes nitric oxide naturally, and nitric oxide is also found in some food items. Research has shown that as you age, the amount of nitric oxide in your body decreases. In some studies, it has been written that as you reach the age of 40, your nitric oxide decreases by 50%. Another function of nitric oxide is that it makes testicular steroids that helps in the production of testosterone. So if there's a deficiency in nitric oxide, it will definitely lead to a deficiency in testosterone as well. Nitric oxide also works with the luteinizing hormone, and this hormone controls the production of testosterone. Viagra is another important medication that works on nitric oxide pathway. It dilates your blood vessels and relaxes them so that the flow of blood and the flow of oxygen remains normal, because the supply of oxygen directly affects the functions of our body. Viagra works by increasing blood flow to the penis, which helps men achieve and maintain an erection during sexual stimulation. The endothelial cells in the blood vessels produce nitric oxide, and its function is to relax your blood vessels. Viagra is not only important for erectile function, but also for various bodily functions, including lung and heart health. Another reason of erectile dysfunction is the increase of cortisol hormone. This is a stress hormone that works on the same pathway. When you are a victim of stress, your cortisol hormone increases which eventually causes erectile dysfunction. The more relaxed your body is, the more parasympathetically dominant it is. The less anxiety it has, the better your sexual life will be. Erection or penis tension occurs only when your body is relaxed and your anxiety is less. This is the reason why most men feel erection after waking up from sleep. At that time, the body is most relaxed and parasympathetically dominant. In discussing erectile dysfunction, I'm focusing on nitric oxide as a crucial factor in this condition. Nitric oxide helps improve sleep quality and regulates sleep patterns. This is why individuals with insomnia and sleep apnea often experience erectile dysfunction. Additionally, nitric oxide enhances insulin sensitivity. Diabetic patients with high blood glucose levels often develop insulin resistance, leading to erectile dysfunction easily. In diabetes, Excess blood sugar damages endothelial cells, which produce nitric oxide. When these cells are destroyed, nitric oxide production decreases, contributing to erectile dysfunction. Now let's come to the solution of how to increase the production of nitric oxide, and can you make it naturally in your body? The answer to this is yes. You can increase the production of nitric oxide naturally in your body. Breathing through the nose increases the resistance by 50%, and it naturally boosts the production of nitric oxide. More oxygen goes into your body, and there is no shortage of oxygen. If you combine this with the next step, it will be better, and that is regular exercise. Exercise improves your endothelial cells, as we talked about endothelial cells that they produce nitric oxide. You will get a boost up in the production of nitric oxide, and eventually your erectile dysfunction will be better. Number three is eat nitrate-rich foods. Eat food in which nitrates are found, these foods naturally improves the production of nitric oxide. Nitrate-rich foods include beetroot, radish, cabbage, and spinach. The amount of nitrates in these food is more. In addition to this, you should avoid sugar and alcohol. These two things cause inflammation and destroy your endothelial lining and eventually disbalance the production of nitric oxide. 
improve your quality of sleep, and stay away from anxiety. That's it for this video. I hope you have found this video helpful. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more health-related content.